Welcome back to Spurred On guys, I'm Barnaby Slater. I'm here with Craig Vi and Craig Mitch, the two Craigs for a another eight bit debate. You oh, know what yeah. happens in our eight bit debates. They have to prove to me that they have made the right choice for their topic and win by getting to eight points. Okay, so today's topic is, has this transfer window been good or bad for Tottenham Hotspur. Supporting the fact that it's been a good transfer window is Craig Vi, and supporting the fact that it has been a bad transfer window is Craig Mitch. So, for the first point, or to fight for the first point, we're gonna go with the positivity, and that is Craig Vi. Craig, why has it been a good transfer window? What? How has it not been a good transfer window? It's been, a, it's been an excellent transfer window. So far, we identify players early early Kevin Vimmer really early on in the in the transfer window we've identified and signed proven talented young players that are going to provide solid competition for pretty much all of the positions over the pitch you know Kieran Trippier how I mean like in any other Premier League team possibly not all of the top four sides he would be making the first 11 at Spurs he's got a real battle on his hands against Kyle Walker one point for Craig Vi I know uh, talking about getting people in early it's not always something that Spurs have done so that's a good point it's worth a point Craig Mitch all right let me counter that point by saying getting people in early uh, we made a bid for Danny Ings early and got snubbed how can you call that good business getting snubbed by the likes of Danny Ings and then going over to Liverpool not only is that absolutely embarrassing, we just made a bid out of absolutely nowhere. He didn't agree to any terms or conditions and he didn't want anything to do with us and just walked out the door. Do you call that a good bit of business? Can I just make a point here? I think that we only bid for Danny Ings because we were trying to uh, push up what Liverpool had to pay and push down exactly. as well. That's an assumption. First of all, that's an assumption. My whole point is we that's not good business. We, we, still, we still showed interest. And we shafted. We, we still showed interest. Hold on. Hold, on. Hold on. We still showed interest for a rubbish player and we didn't secure him. And you guys can do all the assumptions you want but that's a fact okay okay Craig Brian I'm gonna go back to you I, I don't agree that Danny Ings is as rubbish as you I think he's awful okay. we'll agree well, to disagree at Liverpool he, he is but anyway uh, <laughs> Craig Brian uh, fight for your next point one nil still okay right the second biggest point during this transfer window has to be that we have moved on so much dead wood I mean we have got rid of mm -hmm. so much such as Paulinho that's enough for me. Two points. Two points. Thank you very uh, much. Craig, straight to you, Craig Rich, there, because Deadwood, the foreign mercenaries, they've got. Right, so I've got two points to counter that rubbish point. Um, Craig, you can try and vie for a point here, but it ain't going to work. Oh, Look. Pun. Right. One point yes. for a pun. There. Listen, OK, this is this is what I'm going to say, OK? Yes, we've got rid of Deadwood, but we haven't got rid of the biggest Deadwood, Adebayor. He's still on our books. Two Apparently, points. he's leaving, but he hasn't. What about the other bit of Deadwood? Soldado. What about him? Or maybe Aaron Lennon. What about him? Or even Eric Lamella, based on flipping his last five performances. There's still a lot of Deadwood at Tottenham Great Hotspur. He's just earned himself two points in one there by, by naming some players who do need to... They are the Deadwood. They however, are the deadest of the wood. However, I do have to put in a disclaimer that that is, as this was filmed, they have not been moved on. Exactly. Are they are still club. here rotting at our club. It's apparently 3-2 to Craig Mitch. Craig Vi, how do you count well, I just want to count that by saying most of those players are going to be gone. There is still plenty Another of Another assumption here. Oh, we yeah, love these assumptions the over here. The window doesn't show no facts. the 1st of September. The 1st of September. You've got, you've got all the best of, what, three weeks left. Adibayo. More assumptions. As soon as we can get Adibayo on the phone, as soon as anyone can right. get him on Another the phone, point. he is Hold gone. On. Another point here for Craig Mitch, because he's right. Craig Vi is just making a lot of assumptions. Where is all these? I want the facts. We need facts here, Craig Vi. I know you're new to this, but we need facts. Right, Hold on. Stop. <laughs> and uh, Craig Mitch has reached four points, so that means that's the end of part one of this 8-bit debate. Yeah. Craig Mitch is currently winning by four points to two. Let's. Uh, why don't you tune in to part two to see if Craig Vi can find his way back. Why don't you comment as well on uh, on what has been said in the comment section below and like the video if you liked it and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred On TV. We'll see you for part two. Hi guys, this is Barnaby Slater for Spurred On with Craig Vi and Craig Mitch. This is the second part of our eight bit debate, debate which this week is, has this transfer window been good or bad?